Okay, I'm gonna give y'all a minute to jump on here. If you're here, say hey, that way I know I'm not talking to myself. But it's also 9.30 on um, a weekend, so if I'm talking to myself, it's okay. <clears throat> it's okay, I get it. See, one person, it doesn't tell me who you are, but hey. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and get started because I am going to uh, save this and post it to my YouTube channel whenever I get done. Hey, Megan. Congratulations, by the way. I hope you are loving the at-home life. I want to follow in your footsteps super soon. But I'll get there. So, yesterday, um, I had a couple of you asking about, and it's happened in the past too, about how to recruit, how, like take advantage of the host kit, um, all of those things. So, I wanted to jump on here and just show you guys kind of what I do. Um, I do a few different things, and they all seem to be working pretty good um so i'm going to continue to do those and kind of see how it goes but one of the, like the biggest things that i do is i have a whole it's an excel spreadsheet and i can share it with you guys to show you kind of like what i put in there about people that i personally want to recruit and i have recruited a lot of people on that list but there's still someone there that I reach out to anytime I have a host kit available. I always reach out to them and say, hey, I have this available. You know, I know that we've talked in the past about you joining Cincy. Maybe the $99 was too much or it just wasn't a good time. Um, but now I have this $59 kit available. And um, would you like to take advantage of that? Now, whenever I... Whenever I do offer, hey Lauren, um, whenever I do offer the join kit, I always, always, always send them the difference between the $59 kit and the $99 kit. Only because there is a difference and I want them to see that. And honestly, when I do that, a lot of them are like, well, the $99 kit does come with more so let me just go ahead and sign up with that one well if they do that then I still have that host kit available that I can share with someone else either on my list of people that I've talked to um, or other people that have told me you know I really want to join your team but $99 is just too steep for me right now which I get it everybody's at a different place in their life we're still in this pandemic like I totally get it no worries so I do keep that list updated. Anytime I reach out to those people that are on that list and I have that joint conversation with them or I say, hey, I have this host kit available. Are you interested still? I update that list depending on what they say. I mean, I've had some people that have joined other direct sales companies and I'm like, mm, maybe not. Okay, we'll try again in a little bit um, because I don't want people... I want everybody to join my team, but I'm also a very firm believer in if you flip-flop between direct sales companies, like your customers see that, your entire Facebook sees that, um, I just feel like you can't dedicate the amount of time and effort that a direct sales company takes to be successful if you have multiple ones going. Um, and then you kind of just put a little bit of effort in a couple of different ones when if you could just put all of your effort into that one sales company, then you would see the success that you're wanting. So I do update that Excel worksheet anytime I talk to them. If I have a conversation with them and maybe they seem a little bit more interested, then, you know, I'll kind of I don't want to say like I put them in an order, but like I'll kind of move them up to like really you know, start sharing the opportunity with them even more, then I know that maybe they are even more interested now than when they first went on that list. So I'll just keep that list updated. Anytime I reach out, um, have those join conversations, depending on what they say, if they don't respond at all, I'm like, okay, well, we'll try again in a couple of months because 
we have talked before and you have said, okay, yeah, I want to join your team, but maybe not right this second. But then the next time I reach out to you, you either ignore my message or you just don't even acknowledge that I've sent you anything. I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to reach out to somebody else and we'll try again. So I do do that. Another thing that I do is I have, and this is just the one that I have right now. I post it on like um, super bright uh, cardstock. Um, I need to change it a little bit of the colors because I feel like these like orange ones are really hard to see. But I do my join flyer in bright cardstock that I just picked up at Walmart because a lot of like my other flyers, like my Scentsy Club flyer, um, my thank you flyer that I hand write my thank you letters on, they're all white. So I feel like when they're opening up their package, if it's bright and colorful, they'll pay attention to it more. So I do my join flyer on brightly colored paper just to stick out more whenever they're opening their package. Um, hopefully that's the first thing that they reach out and look at. And I also, I don't keep this same join flyer. I change it up every like two or so months. Um, just because if I'm sending the same thing out to them, no matter what color piece of paper that it's on, I feel like they've already read that once. Either they were interested or not. But if I continue to change it, and my wording and the way it looks, they'll read it again. So we all know that the more times people see something, the more likely they are to ask more questions about it because it does take a few times being repetitive, seeing you know the same information but maybe in a different format. And hopefully that will entice them to ask more questions, either message me. Um, and I can also, when I'm doing my follow-ups, with my thank yous or anything that I send out, um, I can just throw in there, hey, did you see that orange piece of paper? What did you think about it? So that leads me into a join conversation. Um, I can answer any questions they have about joining. I can, you know, kind of fill them out, see how what they're thinking, um, and then hopefully get them added to my list of people that I check in with regularly. So I do change this up a lot. All of them have, um, a QR code that goes in to the join section on your PWS. And I, yeah, Brittany, I include this on everything. I don't care if it's like I did just cause they're right here. I did those unicorn wax stash of just random cubes of, I'm trying to get this out of here. Uh, random cubes of wax that I had left over that I personally like will not um, be warming in my own home. I kept a couple from the last bb and um, just for giveaways and stuff in my VIP page or team incentives and stuff. So I did even in like these like did not pay for this. I'm paying. I'm covering all the shipping. They all have this same join flyer in them. Um, all of my thank yous go out. They have one in them. Um, all of my scent of the month stuff, they have one in them. Everything that leaves this office, it has one in them. Um, and I also put in, when I'm doing my follow-ups, because I use um, AMI or Maven, I use that for my follow-up system. There's a section in there that you can add notes, and I will add in there you know, whether they're on my list of uh, people that I regularly follow up with or if it's someone new and I just want to check in with them and hopefully add them to that list, just depending on um, kind of how that conversation goes when I have, you know, I'll follow back up with them and say, hey, what do you think of that, that orange piece of paper that you found in your package? Um, another thing that I do is, of course, I hope that you're all doing this if you don't start in February. Um, but I have my own party that is for that month. So everybody's orders, I post it in my announcements on my VIP page. I just call it whatever month it is. So this one was January online orders. That's the name of the party. Um, I always leave it in my announcements on my VIP page. Anytime that I'm sending out emails, um, to my customers, I update the customer newsletter that Workstation sends out. I update that and personalize it and put that link in there before it sends out. Um, but everyone knows if they order from that link, then um, 
I don't really do a giveaway, um, but I do shout them out on my, my VIP page. But I let them know that, you know, their orders need to go here. So I just tell them, look for this party, follow this link, order here, and then that will build up those rewards. And then at the end of the month, I use those rewards to buy giveaways. Um, this month I'm going to do buying a whole bunch of the new stuff that's coming out. So I have that to sample with. And I share that host kit that is attached to that uh, order because it's going to hit over 200. I've done it in the past too. Every time it hits 200, I'll offer the join kit. Um, but I just find that it works better for me. If I just let it go all month long, then use all of those rewards that I get for either personal use or giveaways or whatever I'm wanting to purchase um, from the catalog, whether whatever it may be. And then just do one big order at the end of the month. And then that host kit that's with that, I'll always offer it. Um, I have found that when I do my host kits, I message, like I'll take like five people from uh, my list of people that I have and I will message them separately, either on messenger, text message, email, whichever way I communicate with them. I'll message them separately and offer that join kit. Um, a lot of the times I will, if it's someone who buys from me regularly and has been since I started in July, um, I will go in my workstation, pull a report and see how much um, commission they would have earned if they had already joined, like from the very beginning. Sometimes I'll do from the very beginning because I've only been a consultant since July. Um, sometimes I'll do three months, sometimes six months. It just really depends on how um, active they've been with purchasing with me. But I have a um, this little flyer that says, have you ever thought about doing what I do? And then you would have made blank. Um, as a Scentsy consultant. So, and then let's talk. I just found this template on Canva. I just put my little logo on there and made it cute. And I changed the colors around to kind of match with my branding. Um, so I include that whenever I'm emailing them, I just pop it in there as an image um, and just show them like, hey, if you join like out of all of your purchases from this date and whatever I decide the three, six are from the beginning, this is how much money you would have made. And I just do strictly 20%. Um, I don't want to get into like the 25, you know, once you hit certified or over 2000, the 30, I just do a flat 20%, make it easy for me because I'm not good at math and I need a calculator. <laughs> um, but I add that in there and that way it kind of shows them like, okay, I'm already purchasing this product. I could have already made this much money back on all of my purchases since whatever date. Um, I also add in there whatever current flyer I'm using because I have all of them made in Canva and I just have them saved as images um, in an album on my phone. Sometimes I'll add that in there just to like give them first dibs of like taking I guess a shot at that join kit because if not then I feel like and I always put like an expiration date it doesn't really matter we all know it doesn't matter if they message us two weeks from now if we have it still available like they're gonna get it but it gives them a it kind of puts in their head like okay if I want to do this then I need to do this now or I'm gonna lose out like that whole FOMO fear of missing out thing um, I always do that on all of my join kits because if not, I feel like, and I don't know what like this stigma is like with direct sales, I promise I'm not going to get on soapbox, but like people think that they're just something bad and like they shouldn't take advantage of it or they like are weird for doing an MLM or direct sales. Like, no you get so much freedom and like we all know this because this is what we preach day in and day out but I feel like they'll get in their head too much about it if like I just leave it completely open and so I give them that expression date so I don't want them to get in their head about it like if they really want to join let's do this um don't think like there's no more questions that need to be asked like let's just do this 
So I put that on there. If those five people that I've sent that out to, if they don't buy on it, um, then I'll do a post on my VIP page. And then if I don't get anything from there, I'll post it, of course, completely within compliance on my story. So, or on my personal uh, Facebook page, whatever. Um, so I do that with every single uh, host kit that I have available. Also, if I have a party, I kind of do that same, like, my five people, um, my VIP page, and then my personal page. I do that same thing if I have one that's connected to a party, but I always ask the host first, of course, um, and then I will post it in her group that I'm doing her uh, Facebook page on. I'll post it there. If I don't get anything, then I'll go through that same order. My first five my VIP page, and then my personal page. I kind of follow that same sequencing. Um, one more thing, and I promise this is the last one because I feel like I've been talking forever, but um, with my parties, when I have a host form that I fill out anytime someone, or if I reach out to someone, I'm like, hey, do you want some free and half off Sensi stuff? I have a host form that I just um, created on Google Forms. And it just has a lot of like good, quick online um, Scentsy party tips. Um, it has like the hostess rewards chart. Um, it has the host kit starter kit. It has a, a picture of that on there. And it just like asks them on like a scale of like one to 10. Like if you could join Scentsy today, how interested would you be? Um, so I take that feedback and then of course I build on that from there even throughout her whole party um, I do that on my host kit and then as soon as her party hits 200 I mention it again so I bring it up again um, I have a party going on right now that's closing today she's like let me think on it so today I'm going to have that same conversation again I'm going to bring it up again if she says no that's fine I have um, one party guest that spent $200 by herself um, and then set up a monthly Scentsy Club order as well. Monthly. Like, this girl needs to be a consultant right now. Even if it's just to get paid off of those purchases. Um, so, I've been in contact with her about joining as well. Um, also, I am... Thank you, Katie. You're so sweet. You inspire me so much. Not even joking. Um, I also... I started doing party packs. Um, <laughs> honestly, because I had so many catalogs from the fall and winter season and I was looking and I was like well this would make some good like shred paper but I really need to put them to good use so with my last two parties I did party packs um I put like a I have a hang on let me grab it I made this little flyer that says, let's party in the new year and then book a party with me by, I've been putting March 31st just so that there's a date on there um, and receive a mini warmer of your choice for free. This is in addition to your host rewards, offer valid on qualifying party of $200 or more. Um, and then it has my QR code um, that takes them to that host form for me. Um, I do have a blank one of these if you guys need me or want me to upload that. I did that for a girl on my team yesterday, so I already have it. And it's already actually sized to the 4 by 6 if you're using, like, Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any of those to print out, like, your flyers. Um, so I can definitely share that with you guys. But I have been doing those party packs, and I only send five um, out per party. And they get, like, samples, and they get that little flyer. Um, a product list, and then I put in a catalog too because I just need to get rid of them. Now, I only do those, I either do five or 10 per each party, depending on how many people are in there. But then I have a guest form that's kind of the same similar format as my host form. It has a lot of the same similar questions. It gets all of their contact information, so email address, uh, phone number, would you be interested in hosting your own party? Would you be interested in becoming a consultant? It's like quick five minutes. And I put that um, in my page and I offer a giveaway. It could be a scent circle. It could be a car bar. Honestly, it's going to be whatever I grab. 
Um, and I do that at the end of the party. One, that entices all of the people in the party to fill out that form. Um, they're all answering that question about if they want to host a party themselves and earn free and half off. Um, if they've ever thought about the opportunity to join Cincy, they answer that question. Um, and then also entices them to stick around till the end of the party to see if they want or not. Um, so they're not getting like a party pack per se, um, but they are filling out that form and then it's like a door prize at the end. Um, so that's what I've been doing too and that seems to be really good. Plus I have all of their information so I added into my workstation for um, my customer newsletter and then I also have it in like my little um, sheet. What's that thing called? It's like not really like a contact book, but I have like a list of like all of my customers and I have another one for my team that my email, I can just go in there and um, send all at one time. I add them to that too. So that's really all I do. Um, I made me a whole list and I went through all of my stuff. Um, but that is honestly everything that I do and it's been working pretty good. Um, I hope to like grow my team and even my group, um, even more this year than I did from July to December last year. So I'm going to be consistent in all of this, um, cause I've just started doing a lot of these things, um, within the last couple of months and I've seen really good success with it so far. Um, I've also tried and taught like my team of people to do this as well um so i figured why not share it with you guys too of course if it could help anyone um that would be great so that we can all be better together um so yeah if you try any of these if you need um help on like flyers i have all of my flyers i have blank copies of them and like i said they're all sized to four by six um, if you use Walmart, Walgreens, or any of those to print out your flyers, definitely reach out to me. I do not mind to share it all. Um, I will post screenshots. Let me make myself a note. I'll post screenshots of my guest form and my host form. Um, that way you guys can see that. Um, and I'll just do a couple of my flyers as well. I normally get mine off of... Um, I will see something on Pinterest and then I will kind of format it the same way in Canva, but then use like my fonts that I use for all of my branding, um, put my logo on it and just kind of make it mine. Um, so I can definitely share those with you guys because I have blank copies of all of those. But yeah, if you guys have any questions, um, definitely let me know. I know I've rambled forever, uh, but thank you guys and I hope you all have a great Saturday. Bye y'all.